to a little bit some uh, uh, issue about the place where you are and why this place exists. In fact, what happened is that uh, uh, this place was uh, created to give an answer to a very important question that now I would like to, to, to give to you. And the question is, what does man need to live? Have you got an idea what is really essential for a human being to survive on the planet? Can I have some idea? Food, water, food, nature. water, nature. nature. Yeah. What else? Okay. Oxygen. Okay. Another idea? Energy. Oh, energy. That's good. That's great. Other things? Nothing more? Is enough? Other human beings. Ah, somehow we are very close now. Okay. From the food we are all, we need that. Okay. Then energy. That is really essential. I listen that arrived a little bit later. Okay. And then last but not less important is spirituality. So what we are trying to do here is to give an answer to how we can um, find physical energy, but also take very attention on the soul energy. So soul energy is most important probably than external energy. And if you look at the planets right now in this moment, we have a little bit of a problem, okay? Normally, who has an excess of food and technology are lacking in spiritual energy or exactly the opposite. So in some places where there is no energy, very less food, sometimes people have more soul and more thinking of what are we doing on this planet. So what we are trying to do in this year, now there are 15 years we are working on this place, is try to find a right balance between these two energy. So, this is why I am a very special person, because I was a superhero of the destruction of the planet. So, because why I'm here is not because I was born a good boy, okay? I was a very bad boy during all my life, and at such a moment, I have decided to change and try to create this place where I can try, experiment different way to help the planet. Because if we don't help the planet, what's going to happen? And that our planet will be melted by the global warm and the global heating. So that is a very important thing. And we have to think about these things every moment. Now we are very much with other idea because we have a war, then we have a virus, but the main problem we're gonna face in the future is the global warming. And th on that problem, there is no solution. If that things happen, we are gonna have really big problem because all the virus will be creating tons of them. We will have problem of water, we will have problem of food. All the things will be affected by this problem. So what we have to do, we have to think. At least every moment of our life, we have to think that we are in the same planet and we have to look after the planet and the health of the planet. And how we can do that, we are trying here in Perth to do something, to try to live in harmony with the nature without losing the comfort that the technology and the development of the, of the human have been created, but in the same time trying to do a life with a very good attention of the nature. So, when I realized this, because it takes a lot of time, many people are still sleeping. They are not looking at this problem and we are sleeping on the big, big problem and the water is boiling and we have not enough time to create a proper answer. So what's happened that we create from a scrap a place where we can experiment different way of acting and uh, uh, create our energy and our food. And uh, the place has to be in harmony with the nature to reduce the need of money because the money are always central. 
okay? Because you, you say that you can't do anything without the money. Instead, there are different ways to invest money. If you put the money in the proper technology, you can reduce the need of the money and use it once instead to use continuously to buy things that it ends, like the petrol, like the gas and whatever. You have always to pay. If you pay for a photovoltaic panel, you pay once and then you create the energy from the nature. And that is something that we have to think when we are going to do our um, creation of the house. And the important thing is that creates also a comfort. This is why this place has been created also nice. Because sometimes it's very important that if you see something, okay, it's self-sufficient, but it's not very nice, it's not very comfortable, you say, mm, I don't want to go in that way. Instead, the issue is to try to do a proper balance with the two things, and you are welcome in our places to find what we have tried to do to make the best balance between these two issues. So, the PER is a private initiative, self-financed, we will be not helping by the government, okay? And we are trying to uh, practice sustainability and technology. And we have a receipt. It's like when you cook something, okay? Everybody should find his personal receipt to cook what he needs, okay? Our receipt is uh, having energy efficiency, renewable energy, sensible use of the resource in general, okay, sustainable farming, and natural food. If you combine these, these five elements, you can create your personal receipt. And what I'm supposed to, to do to you is just to show our receipt. So the receipt you will see here is not the receipt for everybody. It's our receipt that we use some ingredients and you have to find your receipt. When you go back in your house, when you will grow, you have to find your personal receipt because it will be the best one you can think if you have planned yourself. Okay, it's like it's the, the, the pasta that cook my mother is the best pasta I have never eaten, but it's for me, not for you, for example. So everybody has to find his personal receipt. The pearl is a, a, is a, a small uh, farm where we have created also some spaces where do uh, environmental friend activity, but also to have didactical activity like the one you are doing today here. We have a, a place where we can uh, guest some people. We have, uh, we propose holidays, weekends. We have a little zero energy house. We have a scientific learning center. We do seminar on scientific issue. We do team building on the company who wants to create some harmony together with the people with a different uh, uh, thinking. And then we, we uh, promote the open source courses. Means that the te technology should be spread by all the people. We will not have to keep our secret. Everybody can here copy what we are doing here. We will be very happy if you will copy everything what we do here. And we do some research, a lot of experimentation that we will see today. We do a conference. We do sustainable farming as much as we can because we like to, to grow our food as much as we can. We have an organic farming, we do uh, some uh, solar uh, energy for growing food, we do technological seminars and professional updating, and also we like to enjoy, okay? So the thing is, the life is not sad, the life is wonderful. So if you are here, you have also to enjoy uh, this day, because we like to enjoy and to spread our happiness with all the people around. So. One uh, issue is that we are focusing our idea on the physical energy, like food and energy. Then, in, during the years, we discovered that the most important energy is the soul energy. So now, what we are doing, we want that everybody will have the inspiration and the pleasure to change something a little bit when we go back at home. So, thank you very much and welcome in prayer. One technical information, if you have to go to the 
uh, bathroom, to the toilet, you will find that differently from many other toilets, there is not a button, but there is a handle. So we recycle water to operate the uh, toilet. So it's very important that when you go to the bathroom, you open the tap enough to clean, and then you close it back, not leaving very fast, because we are very careful on the water resource. Here we have no water at all. We, we rely only on rainwater, so it's very important that all the people that are living in this place for the today, after today have this carefully uh, on, uh, on what they will do. Thank you very much. I will introduce you, Andrea. Wood scratches, like pellets, or uh, when you cut uh, the wood, you can use these scratches. But uh, it's just a waste, no? For you. But it is a really precious material because if you create a pile of uh, wood scratches, you can create thermic energy by the living bacteria inside it. In fact, the bacteria. Material is good. Material good. No, 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 chemical uh, also fertilizant and uh, but sometimes you must have seen that uh, we throw much food isn't it according to your experience how much food do you uh, do you throw do you waste 320 kilos per person uh, each year. Each year, yeah, good. 40% is global, no? Is the global percentage in the world. And you know that many people are also have great problem, no? For uh, uh, hunger and and what do you think you can do about that? Do you have an idea? By less, so you don't use We call a Luxen glass, it's a kind of glass, and um, inside you can see this trays, like a trays, yeah. So the food will be placed in here. And this is so. This is a solar dryer. No, before I told you about the sun dryer. So sun dryer was used a long time ago. We use it less because if we have no sun, you saw it. There is no electricity, and we have also an emergency way. Because if we have a week without sun, it could be a problem. And we have to use an emergency motor. That is one made, it can be used, uh, it's, it's an engine that uses fossil fuels. But in emergency cases, it could be used to solar oven. They use the, they reflect the sun all in a focal point in the middle of this, para, uh, of this parable and uh, all the sun warm up the, the, the things you put in the, in the middle. So we 
This morning we put this, this pot with water inside. What do you expect in here to find? Come here, come here. Come here. Get closer. There is water inside. You expect it to boil it or not? Boil? Now we have a common ground. Now we have adesso abbiamo una, una situazione comune per cui abbiamo ognuno un po' di questa risorsa. Ma okay, credo Però... che sia stata tutti della live. No, sono so tutti così attaccati. We are very very happy and uh, we just now want to see hello bye bye but really it's very hard because we are vibrations inside from this beautiful beautiful park and uh, see you uh, in the next uh, okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.